What's up everybody? Rise and Grind is PJ the Great and today is the day where I do my bike and cleanse challenge. I'm going to do my bike challenge but then I have to show you guys what I'm going to do as far as meals for today. It's Saturday. Saturday. It's going to be all of this. All just liquids. Fluids. And what I got going on here is like for starters, that's going to be breakfast. That's a vanilla protein shake, 32 grams of protein. Figure if I'm not gonna be eating any solids, I need to get a lot of protein. After I finish that, then I got my acai plus 10 super blend as a snack, then another vanilla protein for lunch. I'm saving the Synergy Organic Kombucha for later in the day because the last time I tried this stuff, um, my stomach didn't really agree with it. <laughs> and then this is dinner, another vanilla protein shake, and then a chia seed pineapple drink as my last snack of the day. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one in my belly. Get in my belly! On this Saturday. 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 And then head out on the trail. trail. For the bike challenge. And I'll go into a little bit more detail about what's involved in that bike challenge when we get there. Alright, let's go. Alright everybody, we're here at our destination I am going to tackle something I haven't tackled in a very long time and that is Pittman Wash Trail now what's the difference between today's challenge and just coming out here and riding the trail like I normally do well when I was in shape back when I was like 170 pounds I would loop this trail twice and that would be like 20 miles total. Um, lately, since I've been out of shape, I've only been able to do it once for 10 miles. Today's challenge is I am going to see if I can actually do 20 miles. Now, I usually do it in about an hour and 50 minutes. Today, I'm not putting a time limit on myself. I just want to see if I can log 20 miles. I don't care if it takes two and a half hours. I just want to see if I can log 20 miles. So that's the second part of today's challenge. Finish up my breakfast. Alright. My stomach hurts, just in case you're wondering. But hopefully when I get out there, the juices will start flowing and everything will be alright. Alright, let's get out of this car. So far, so good. So many people eat it. So eat it. Just eat it. And it's water, so that's the reason why I don't even try it. Slow and steady wins the race. Then I just walk it up and make sure I don't fall two miles in. Three mile check in. Getting a little winded, but it's still going. So I'm a quarter of the way in to this 20 mile challenge and doing okay now. To be honest with you, the first way up when you're coming up, it's uphill. Then when you go back, it's downhill. So it's just two challenging uphills that really kick your butt. So 
realistically I should be able to get this done. So I think I'm going to tuck you guys away and I'll see you when I finish lap one, which is 10 miles. So 10 miles in, got 10 more miles to go. Feeling good so far. Like I said, the uphill is like the hardest part. So now I'm about to tackle that again. I'll see you guys when I get to the 15 mile marker. A few moments later. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm about 15 miles in, 5 miles to go to complete the 20. I'm not even going to lie to you man, I'm like exhausted right now. But the good news is the route back is all downhill so it should be easy. Alright, get a little bit of rest and get back on the trail. when I say that that kicked my ass. That was 20 miles out of shape and did it in two hours and 10 minutes. So 20 minutes over what I would have done if I were in shape. But I'm not complaining about it too much. All right, it's time to get out of here. I'm exhausted. car now trying to cool down a little bit got to run to the store and pick up a birthday card and a balloon for my grandma it would have been her birthday today so me and my mom still celebrated by getting her a balloon and a card so I'm gonna go and do that then I'm gonna head home and I am past due on my next beverage. Oh boy. Okay. Let's get out of here. A few moments later. Oh, another little rant that I have. It's like I cannot stand when you're out on a trail and no one is paying attention to their surroundings. They're texting on their phones or one kid was just looking at the ground while he was walking. I almost had like multiple head-on collisions because people decide to look at their phones or whatever and not pay attention to their surroundings and realizing that they're not the only people on the trail. Super annoying. And yes, that is a wet rag on my head. since I'm not eating today I didn't think it would be wise for me to wait until I got home to get my second juice in me so picked up mom's mess and I picked up this blue machine transfer complete plus I just realized that those vanilla I still have it in here has 32 grams of protein I don't think I should drink three of these today that's a a lot of protein. So I'm gonna rock with this. Alright, balloon and car time. Let's go. took it out of me and no food too so <laughs> nap time is over <laughs> let's go kill some weeds Chicky tacky trying to do anything to take my mind off of food this juice and life 
is real. Told you this juice in life is real. Real over. I'm a little weak. So, I'm gonna eat. That's all I got for you guys today. At least I got the biking challenge part done. Bicycle, bicycle. Deuces. Hey, at the end of the day, the weather is better. Don't you like when the winter's gone and all of a sudden it starts getting warm? So I'm able to get outside and do more and get exercise in. I can diet, but I don't need to juice. Not yet. And that's real. 19.93, calories burned. That's going to be a weekly thing. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry.